This tutorial is going to teach you how to have text input um, that is then checked via some kind of button press. Um, and this has lots of additional possibilities, but we're just going to start with the basics. Um, so what I've got here, I've got a button. It's called Check BTN. I've got a dynamic text box called ANS1 for answer one. Um, and I've got a input text box here called input one. Um, and you can obviously change between the different types of text when you draw it in with your text tool. Uh, but anyway, um, so what we're going to do is now add the code to make this work. So F9, I'm just going to bring this up on the side so you can sort of see my stage a little bit still. Uh, first things first, stop command. Always good to put that in. Um, now, we need to have an event listener for the check button. So check btn dot add event listener open bracket um, it's a mouse event obviously dot click and we're going to call this one check click open bracket oh, sorry close bracket semicolon uh, now we need to make the function so function check click um, and it's going to be an event mouse event we're going to go void um, and now you need to make your parentheses so open and close um, and now we need to make a little if statement in here so we're going to write if open bracket input one uh, which is the name of our text input box dot t text equals equals don't ask me why you need to have two but it's the only way for it to work equals equals and obviously, what is the opposite of left? The answer is right. We're going to make it all lowercase here. There's your talking mark. Close your bracket. Now we need to put another bracket in because we want something to happen if it says the word right. So if it says this, then we're going to have ANS to present our ANS1, which is this box right here. Um, it's going to display, so dot .tx, so dot .text, one equals the word correct semicolon uh, and obviously your parentheses are closed just down here that's going to work um, but we need to also put in what happens if it doesn't say the word right so pretty much every other response so we need to put an else in so we're going to write the word else um, and underneath this we're going to put another bracket and I'm just going to copy this and paste it here and instead of it saying correct it's going to say incorrect okay so our if statement reads if input one text equals the word right then display in the box below it the word correct and for all other possible options so if they write bananas or whatever any other text entry that isn't the word right it will be called incorrect in this little box just here um, and now we hit the little x here press Control enter to test it All right, here we go. So we're gonna write the word right and we're gonna hit the checkbox and it says correct. And if I was to change this to rye, so the wrong text, it will say incorrect. Okay, so there we go, it works. Um, there's lots of things you can do with this. So um, instead of it just saying the word correct, you might wanna like add an additional thing in here, maybe like add to the score. So you might make score as a variable like I've shown in another tutorial. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next time.